Hey guys, my, uh, my dear friend Bob Yozinski ran a, a, a piece in his blog, Bob Yozinski's blog. Um, if you come up here uh, and check out this, uh, this plug-in I'm about to show you, it says Osinski, so in case you forget, it's right there. Um, go check him out, I learned a lot from Bobby. I'm gonna actually kinda <clears throat> show you a technique I learned from him. Uh, it's called the, um, the Abbey Road Reverb Trick. And um, it's actually kind of cool. We actually all kind of do it from time to time, but we've never named it and we've never done it like they do. And I think it's important to know uh, this technique that Bobby showed because it, if you understand it and know it, you can, you can expand on it. And uh, that's kind of what I've done a little bit here. So let's start out. Um, I've got a Jill Scott record. I chose it, I know, I've, I know I've used it for illustrations a few times, but good Lord, what a great singer. And I, I mean, I just wanted you to hear her vocals. Um, now here's a vocal with essentially uh, just a compressor on it. What I like about you You make me smile when I'm down for the purposes right this second of illustrating, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna loop this little section here so we won't have to wait too long in between sections. Now what I've done is I've set up a um uh I originally printed this track with a Bricasti, but I wanted to show you this technique on a on a less expensive reverb. Now D-verb that comes free with Pro Tools gets a little bit of a bad rap, but it's actually a a pretty amazing plug-in. So let's listen to um, Jill with a little bit of D-verb on her. What I like about you What I like about you That's pretty good. Now, now my ear, uh, based on what Bobby told me, was drawn by a couple of things. Now what they do in, um, in England, and what a lot of mixers do, is roll the high and, 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 and low end off of the reverb. So let's, let's start with rolling off the, the low end. I'm using a 12 dB per octave slope. Six might sound better, but let's try this. Now listen to the reverb um, as I take some of the low end out. You know what, don't do that. Listen to how you feel, listen to, listen to the clarity. What I like about you what I like. You know what? I'm going to turn this up just for the sake of illustrating, so this is going to be a little loud, okay? What I like about you. 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 What I like about Okay, I think that's kind of cool. I ended up liking somewhere around 600. Let's, let's put this in the track real quick. Without it. What I like about you. What I like about you. What I like about you. What I like. Okay, I turned it up a little bit. Now let's try it with it. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Now, if that sounded a little bit subtle to you, don't 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 be upset. It just means that you haven't done this enough to hear um, certain things. And I'm not trying to be condescending, but the more you do this, the more some of these subtle elements sound big to you. So instead of trying to to hear every nuance the way that a guy that's been doing it for 20 years hears it. Just listen to the energy and feel and the emotion because you can understand that the first day you're a mixer. So um, um, let me give you this illustration one more time without. What I like about you. What With it. What I like about you. What okay, now what I'm hearing is I'm hearing the same width that made her vocals sound bigger, but with that 
everything below 600 rolled out, it felt like she was a little closer to me and it felt a little more intimate and it felt like I was hearing the nuances of her uh, energy and her vibe. Okay, so now we've seen how the, how the low end can affect our perception of how a vocalist sounds in the mix and enhance the energy. Um, let's, let's play with the top end and roll that back. There's, there's a reverb I use a lot called the Eventide 2016. And on that reverb, I rarely let anything higher than about four or five K come through. We don't really need it. It's not really enhancing anything. But let's, let's, let's see what happens when we do that. So, so let's solo up. Um, let's solo up Jill here. What I like about you, 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 what I like about you. Okay. You can see what's happening. Now let's try it in the mix, the same exact thing. Let's start with, I like it right here, solo, but let's see what we're doing in the mix. Let's start full, full. I like it a little higher in the mix because I like that breathiness in her voice. So what I would probably do is during the verses, I'd probably leave it a little bit higher to get a little emphasis on those breathy, um, uh, I don't know how, how to describe it, that texture in her voice is enhanced with a little bit, but probably in the choruses it's not. So we might auto automate that. Let's, let's solo it and see what we ended up with. What I like about you without what I like about you. So now I'm gonna take it a step further. Let's see what happens. Now remember, we're using a free reverb. Now Bobby uh, showed showed us on his website that you can take a little bit of the mid range out and and actually enhance it. Watch this. What I like about what I like about you, what I like about Okay, so I took out a little bit at 1.2K and, and watch. What I like about you. Let me add it all back. What I like about you. you said it, it, it brings out some elements I don't like. Let's try it in the mix. I'm gonna exaggerate it. What I like about Can you see what's happening? We, we get a little bit of the sewer pipe effect. Now I'm adding a little bit of volume to this to make up, but we get a little bit of the sewer pipe when we add that 1.2K. Um, this, is, this is out, so this isn't doing anything this side. Now, like I said earlier, um, one, one of the things I thought when I was, I was watching this with Bobby was, okay, that's wonderful. What if I turned the D verb into um, you can see I'm on plate up here and it kind of gave me the, the idea. Well, some of the plates um, have tube electronics. And remember, we're affecting the input to the reverb, not the output. That's very critical. I forgot to tell you that. We're affecting the input. So what happens if I add a little bit of tubiness? So I'm going to add a, um, I'm at a warm tube from, from the Saturn by Fab Filter, which is rapidly becoming my favorite uh, saturation plugin. But you can use any, any plugin you want. You can use lo-fi, you can use um, um, anything that's gonna give you a, 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 an enhancement of the harmonics. I, 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 I wanted to make sure that I had something cool, so uh, I cheated a little bit and I got this sounding good beforehand, so I'm not gonna do it in front of you, but let's, let's check it out.
here again, it's a little bit subtle, but if you focus and concentrate on what the reverb makes you feel, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm taking the reverb, and I don't like the word distortion, as you know, and, and, and saturation, that word confuses me. Um, I keep thinking of uh, in California when we have these fires and then the rains come and the muds, the mud-filled hills get saturated with water. And I know that's a bad metaphor, but can't help it. Uh, check this out. With it. What I like about you. Uh, without it. What I like about you. With it. What I like about you. What I like. Sweet, huh? It's subtle. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's subtle, but it's kind of cool. Now, we can also put, um, I'm using a pre delay of about 55 milliseconds. We, we, we can do a lot of stuff. We can do the high and low cut within the plugin itself. Um, there's a lot of different things we can do. The diffusion I've got set where I like it. Okay, I'm gonna show you something real quick before we go. I'm gonna show you just, um, just the reverb. I'm on pre on my send, and this is what the reverb sounds like. So play with it. There's a lot of different a lot of different things you can do, and 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 I was going for a more natural sound, but you can do a lot of things on the way in to the reverb to give you sounds that the that the human ear isn't accustomed to. Okay, experiment. I'll talk to you. Bye.